We are now at the Nuya farm. We have very little traditional farming, but have a side occupation, which is also the main source of revenue, a serial exchange agency. We have a farm where both the farm building and the residence house are heated by a stoker. At the same time, we have electric supply from here. We burn cereal residue, which we use for heating. We had a wish for a long time to have such equipment so that we could burn this fuel. Now I have my third stoker and it seems to be working well now. It requires that it has movable fire bars. That's what's necessary when burning cereals. The container is out there and the fuel is taken there with a front loader filling up the container and to this we have a suitable scoop so the fuel can be taken there directly with as little work as possible. Our heating needs is equivalent to three normal sized residence houses. This space also needs heat. We have some industrial activity here and large doors, so a lot of cold air comes in when taking out things. Burning cereal is very demanding since we take in both cereal residue and rape residue. Rape grains no bigger than one millimeters. Then it can be transported effectively but has a much larger energy content than wood chips and peat and this puts higher requirements on feeding and control for it to work well. Right now the setting is 500 milliseconds, that is half a second feeding every three minutes. During summertime we would need to bring it down to less than half a second feeding, otherwise too much fuel is consumed. The second thing that is important in cereal burning is movable fire bars. The ashes from cereals melt at 800 degrees centigrade and a hard nugget is formed, which has to be removed from there. It is the same way with afterblow, that is, when a fuel is fed in, there is a need of afterblow. With peat, it takes 11 seconds, but with cereals, 14 to 15 seconds. So it requires that you know how to do the settings right. The settings are a little different from peat and chips, since cereals contain more energy than chips and peat. Turpeella hakkeella noin 11 sekuntia, mutta viljalla jälkipuhallusta tarvitaan 4-15 sekuntia. Eli vaatii hiukan, että sen osa on säätää. Se täytyy säätää vähän eri tavalla kuin hake ja turve, koska viljassa on enempi lämpöä kuin näissä hakkeissa. You should definitely have automatic ash removal. I have done it manually for 25 years and I'm so tired of it that I wanted an ash screw if it was possible to get that even to old buildings like this. An ash screw is a very good solution since you can grab its container with a front loader and dump it on the farmland. So you don't have to handle the ashes every day. Päivittäin tehdä tätä tuhkahommaa. 